welcome back. We don't often do a purely fun video, so let's do a fun video. These are new, exciting, interesting gift with purchases, new brands, new products that have just landed in the UK ready to celebrate summer. It is what, well, by the time you see this, it will be June 6th, but it's basically the beginning of summer. That's what it is, right? So let's celebrate some really nice new brands coming back to the UK, new products coming into the UK, just things to celebrate for summer. It's fun, there's no theme to it. That's the only theme I could come up with. Basically things that have landed on my desk that I'm really excited about at the moment. Let's start with the fact that Chanel have listened to us all. They've listened to us all. They've listened to every single influencer and makeup artist out there that reviewed the repackaging and the, the reformulation of Chanel Le Beige um, Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream and said last year, this color isn't universal. It used to be called uh, Universal. And they said, that color's not universal. We need a darker one. They've launched a darker one. Why just one? I really don't know. But it is a vast improvement for anybody with skin darker than mine. So let's have a look at the original. Now, word of warning, because I got this out last year and I do use it quite a lot, but it is super subtle on me. So that is super subtle even on me, right? Um, don't leave the top off. It dehydrates massively. It has, I think it has volatile silicones and um, humectants in it and it dehydrates and it becomes, it's still effective, but it's far less easier to blend. Anyway, and that's the new shade. So there you go. So it is a vast, 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 vast improvement. Let me show you on the, the back of my arm. So it's a creamy to powder finish bronzer, but it is really, really, really subtle. Can you see that? Um, in fact, when I did my original video with Jo Good, there you go, she used it all over as a foundation and she's pretty pale to be honest. Now let me show you the new colour and the new colour is the colour that I will be using moving forward and that's the top colour there. Exactly the same formulation, they are a cream to powder silky finish. Um, it really is a soft focus finish bronzing cream to powder solid cream to powder and it's really 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 easy to use and i understand the revolution do a dupe which i haven't actually tried but anyway congratulations chanel for listening to us um i think you could easily go a shade darker and there could be a more pinky golden shade in between as well i'm sure they're not listening to me but there were more important influences out there with far larger audiences saying that you can't call it bronze universal if it's not dark enough that shade is much better now. And actually a lot of people will use both shades as well, one in summer and one in winter. Congratulations, that is part of the new Le, Be Le Beige Summer Light Collection. And it launched on Friday, which is the day I'm filming this, and it is 43 pounds, but it lasts a long time. Just remember to put the top back on every single time. Like don't rush out of the house, leave it on the side, and then you'll come back and the next day you'll use it. Each consecutive day you'll be thinking what's wrong. I know it's disgusting to leave the top off things, but we all do it, right? Um, talking of bronzing, I did an Instagram Live with the amazing Amanda Harrington, who essentially revolutionized self-tanning. Uh, not with her formulations, although I do really love her formulations. They come in three different shades um, for different skin tones, but because she was the first person to introduce them being applied by a brush, and she's created a really clever little mini kit, which I really love. And it's called the Amanda Harrington Bronzing Face Set. And it comes in three different shades. And it's a, it's a great product. Now this and Le Beige Healthy Glow is all you need for great skin in the summer. And essentially what it is, is it's a self-tan spray and you can put it onto the brush. There you go. It's an instant color self-tan spray. And then you, it's a sort of bronzing water, but oh my goodness, look at that finish. It's like your skin, but on its best day. Now the secret is, yes, the formulation is beautiful and it's hydrating and it blends really easy. It's so easy to use. It's without a doubt, probably along with Tan Lux, my favorite facial self tanners, it really is. But the secret is, and let me show you one arm compared to the other and how quick and easy it is to do. The secret is the brush. It's all about the brush. See how lovely that colour is. Super subtle, one or two shades darker. 
it's loaded with humectants as well so it hydrates at the same time you can put it on like that it dries in seconds that's dry and ready to go now which means it's great for your body you could use i mean this is a face set but let's be honest here you could do your arms and legs with this if you were caught out suddenly looked down and thought oh look at those legs um but there are obviously larger sizes for your body as well but that is just absolutely beautiful it's flawlessly formulated the brushes are absolutely key and this little mini kabuki brush makes great sense but go on and have a look at the entire amanda harrington line it's amazing she is a makeup artist and she used to be a professional tanner and basically she started using her makeup brushes to develop and blend out self-tan with celebrities on set and then realise that that was the, the secret moving forward. Look at that colour, it's absolutely beautiful. She's very, very, very clever. I love her products. This one is, what colour have I put on me? This is Natural Honey, which is my colour anyway. I think there's a natural rose and a natural... Anyway, basically they're paley pink, mid-shade and then darker. And then Natural Honey is my shade. It's for yellow undertones of the complexion. It's all really easy to do online. You can get colour matched, but basically it reacts to the colour of your skin anyway. It's just such a great product. Without a doubt, the brush maketh the bronze. Uh, Glossier have gone into uh, what I call hydrating lip balms, which is that halfway house between a tint and uh, a skin finish. So you've got a sort of lipstick tint but you've got a sort of skin finish hydrating balm at the same time. Now, Glossier, funnily enough, are one of the last companies to do this. Um, I think it started originally with people like Yves Saint Laurent. They had some um, NARS Afterglow balms were amazing. I've been using them for ages. They are very me. I don't particularly like a high maintenance lip. I don't particularly like a high pigmented lip. I like something that's sort of half and half, which is what this is. Now I've got one of these colors on. It comes in one, two, three, four, five, six. It comes in nine shades and they're a good selection of shades. They're quite highly pigmented for a balm finish. Look like that. There you go. They are really, really lovely. And I have got on the one that's not here. So bear with me a second because in this makeup bag, I'm gonna show you what I also use and what I have been using for ages. Um, there you go, there are my NARS Afterglow Lip Balms. They've just launched a matte version. If you go over to my Instagram, you can see me testing and trying all of these. I absolutely fell in love with the Honest Equivalent, which is beautiful, but the one I've got on today is by Glossier and it's Glossier Trench. Ultra Slip Lip Tints and this is Trench. I traditionally used to go for pale pinks, um, but I've since realized from using the Bobby, the Bobby Brown one, they have a jelly gloss stick in Honey that actually what I should look for is that sort of fairly glossy brown. It's a sort of peachy brown color that suits most people. It looks quite dark when you look at it like that, but it is really, really lovely. It goes on beautifully. They are that perfect blend as are, I mean, I guess basically Afterglow lip balms are slightly lighter in pigment, but the Honest ones, the Bobbi Brown ones and the Glossier ones are that perfect blend of pigment payoff and skincare properties. So they're super, super hydrating. I really love them. Well done, Glossier. Slow to the game, which I find really interesting. I have a sneaking suspicion, and I've said this before, and I said this on my Instagram, that there's just one company that's making these, and that, that it's that bullet that's got the angle at the end. Um, let me show you, look. So they always look like that, right? And I have a sneaking suspicion it's one company making most of them. The Bobby Brown one actually has a rounded end. But um, I'm fascinated as to who they trickled the technology out to. Anyway, they're beautiful. I love them. For me, it's the way forward with the lip glosses and lipsticks. I want that perfect hybrid blend. I don't want it to be too glossy. I want skincare properties. I want it to be slightly balmy, but not sticky. I want the sort of slight finish of a gloss, but then that hint of pigment as well. Well done, Glossier. I love it. Bliss is back in the UK. Now, Bliss was originally founded by Marcia Kilgore, who is now at Beauty Pie, or now owns Beauty Pie, and Fit Flop, and um, she's done lots of different brands. She's an incredibly smart lady, and I remember Bliss being the place to go for a facial if ever you landed anywhere in the States. They opened in the UK, we're talking 20 years ago now. And then she created Bliss Skincare. Well, she has nothing to do with the brand anymore, but Bliss is back and it's at Boots. Um, there are some really nice products in the range. You're, if you noticed, in my last week's video, yes, it was last week's video, SPF 30s, which is a little bit ahead of the game because it was raining last week and then we had a beautiful sunny week this week in the UK. 
the Bliss SPF 30 is all kinds of wonderful. I love it. I also love the Bliss Bright Idea. They've got a vitamin C and peptide, tripeptide. And then they have two moisturizers I quite like. There's the Mighty Marshmallow, which is technically a an overnight mask and then there's the drench and quench which I really like and the drench and quench is super lightweight it's that gel cream formula which I really love the packaging is very slightly different but then the price point has come down quite considerably for bliss um not surprised it's a gel cream that's just gone on my makeup bag they are all very slightly linalool limeline scented which if you've got sensitive skin be careful about but if you don't have sensitive skin and you just like really lightweight effective affordable skincare go and check out boots i'm just picking it all up now off of my makeup bag go and check out boots and check out bliss i love the fact that bliss are back in the uk and i love the fact actually that they have come down slightly in price but the efficaciousness of their active ingredients so you know they're going for really lovely humectants vitamin c's really nice spfs is still there they're still they're still working on active ingredients it's a nice skincare range it would be a great skincare range for anybody looking for that mid price slightly sort of clinique price range of skincare which is where i think most skincare should sit that's sort of affordable to everybody but also it's quite young and quite sexy as well uh, what else have we got? Right, I want to talk about two new mascaras that have just gone into Sainsbury's in the UK and that are amazing. Sainsbury's has a range of uh, makeup called Boutique, which I really love. There are two new mascaras going in. There's the Lengthening Mascara, which I sort of like, but this is the one I really love. This is the Curl and Lift Mascara, and it's got one of those really lovely flexible bristle brushes. It's beautiful, it's really nice. You never know that this was so reasonably priced. I love a flexible bristle brush. I've talked about this before. It's very much along the lines of um, Masterpiece Max by Max Factor, which I love. So bear with me while I open it up. And that has a slightly thicker brush as well. They're both really, really lovely, reasonably priced mascaras. They do exactly what they say on the tin. That one is lengthening. And that one just gives you a little bit of curl and lift, but they're both really lovely. That seems so expensive. It's got more than a touch of the NARS Climax about the packaging. Then I've got two things that I want to talk about. Peace Out is a range relatively new in the UK and they're based around mini masks. What I like about them is that they're bringing targeted skincare patches down in price. They're democratizing targeted skincare patches. Now, I love Zit Sticker, let's be honest here, but they're really expensive. I love microneedling patches, but they tend to be really expensive. Anyway, look at this. This is Peace Out Wrinkles, and there are six anti wrinkle dissolving microneedling patches with retinol and peptides in. And then you've got eight one step brightening face pads that have got 10% AHA, 4% BHA, and 2% polyhydroxy acids. And when I say they're reasonably priced, they really are reasonably priced compared to the competitors that are out there. This is basically a uh, Japanese Korean skincare technology. So let's have a look at what you get here. They are the Peace Out anti wrinkle masks. So you basically stick them on the areas that you need. They're fairly small. Um, but they sit perfectly sort of under there or in there or across your forehead, which is why they are the shape they are there. They deliver retinol, no percentages of retinol, but retinol and peptides. Um, the, I mean, I'll be really honest with you, you're better off with a retinol or peptide serum, obviously, but I feel like I need to talk about microneedling patches. And these are the wipes with the 10% AHA, 4% BHA and 2% PHA, that's the polyhydroxy acids in. And they are just the one-step facial pads. What I like about them is we're beginning to talk about bringing micro-needling pads down in price. And they're available on the high street. I mean, I'll be really honest with you. The micro-needles are made out of hyaluronic acid. But in this case, they'll have retinol and peptides in them as well. You're better off with a retinol peptide serum in them. But if you want a short-term boost for an area before a big night out, that's what these are for because the action of microneedling the area, obviously, and allowing those microneedles of hyaluronic acid to dissolve in the skin will give you an instant hit of uh, plumping. That's what they'll do. And then finally, if you're in the UK and you're shopping in Marks and Spencers, keep an eye out for this. Marks and Spencers have a really nice edit of, I would call them slightly middle of the road skincare brands. I have no problem with middle of the road skincare brands and hair care brands and makeup brands, but they have a really good 
gift with purchase at the moment. If you spend over £30 in home care, fashion or beauty, you get £140 worth of products for just £20. And let me open the box and show you what's in it. I saw this in Kingston when I was in town with my mum recently. Um, and I'm so impressed by it. Now, here's the thing about, I get approached the whole time to do beauty boxes and I have done one with Superdrug in the past. I insist everything is full size. I really hate it when you talk about all the products that are in a box and you open them up and you get like a sachet or a sample size. It just drives me bonkers. So you've got uh, Nail Zinc Nail Polish in a classic bright pink color. You've got an Emma Hardy Protection and Shine SPF 30. So you've got a little sample size of that. I really love Glow from um, Marks and Spencers. It's their own range. So they've got a Rapid Morning Mask from Glow, which is the Glow formula range from Marks and Spencers. You've got a shower gel oil from uh, L'Occitane, the Almond Shower Gel Oil. They're all really good travel sizes, actually. You've got a little mini Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. That's actually the full size eye cream, that is. A spiced bergamot and pink pepper roll-on fragrance um, from Marks & Spencer's own brand. A full size Aveda Botanical Hair Repair Mask. It's that sort of leave-in treatment that you can have that, that I really love. So basically you put it on um, as a leave-in conditioner, you don't rinse it out. And what you do is you get your chunky ends, your chunky shiny ends, sort of blow dry leave-in cream, which I really love. There's an Autograph Clear Lip Gel. There's a little mini Raise the Root Color Wow Thickening Spray. And then a little Nux Wheel Prodigy. I'm never sure how to pronounce that. It's the, it's the little sort of skin shimmer golden oil, reflective oil. Anyway, that is all worth £140. You only pay £20 for it if you spend more than £30 in m &S. Oh, I've just found another product. A little Ren Overnight Glow Dark Spot Sleeping Cream. Now, I have to say this, right? Um, it's being marketed as full sizes. Some of them are full sizes, some of them aren't. It's still great value for money, but it does drive me mad when people say you're going to get the full size product and you don't get the full size product. I also quite like the um, neon color two-way bag pink and orange which I really like anyway if you're in Marks and Spencers and you've spent 30 pounds and which is so easy to do in home wearing clothes and you don't mind spending an extra 20 pounds you get 140 pounds including five full-size products so the five full-size products are the Aveda Botanical Repair the Origins Ginseng Eye the Nail Polish the Glow and I oh Maybe the Glow is not a full-size product. I would imagine it's the pink peppercorn and the lip gloss. So five full-size products, one, two, three, four, five, six minis. It's pretty good going, right? Anyway, I like it. Also, you should go and check out Marks & Spencers. I do think their beauty off offering is quite interesting. If you want to know more about the brands they offer, if you go over to Instagram, I have a series called Beauty Come Shopping With Me, in which case, I mean, before the pandemic, obviously, I used to go around the stores and introduce you to my favourite 10 or 12 buys from each individual store, and I've got one in Marks & Spencers, which I can tag below. Anyway, that is the summer beauty bag from Marks & Spencers. That was just a fun roundup of nice things that have landed on my desk. Interesting, right? Tell me what you're liking and have you tried the new Le Beige Healthy Glow um, bronzing cream in the darker shade? Uh, I have to say my standouts are definitely the Amanda Harrington, the Healthy Glow, and I do love the new Glossier lip products, but there are a lot of other products out there that are very similar. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you soon. Tell me what else you want me to do in terms of videos. I recently put up a video on Instagram about the new trend for unfragranced skincare from super high-end brands. Would you like me to do it here? Because I can share it here if you don't follow me on Instagram. Anyway, I'll see you soon.